They might not be much left to face of Flash Morgan Webster oh, after that. Oh, again, and Helico. The fall of the Angels. He's trying it, but goodness knows what time, what a temp number this is. This year, or this match rather. The cover though. Oh, counter, counter, counter from Webster. Counter into a sunset flip. And he got him, he got him, he got him, he got him. And Helico wins it, and Helico wins it. Ricochet, shooting star. And he, oh, he hurt himself. He will not release that grip. He's been caught. The power bomb, the sit-out power bomb from Keith Lee. Surely, surely, no, no, again. I'm speechless, Bradshaw. But we're not done. Keith Lee going again and again. But the power from Keith oh. the counter from Ricochet. He hooks the leg. Ricochet, Ricochet, Ricochet. He's in the finals. claimed the 16th and final spot in this last 16 round of the World Cup back at the rest of the world qualifiers just what less than a month ago I guess it was and he is now Africa's sole representative so not only representing South Africa but an entire continent's hopes rest on the shoulders of this young man from Johannesburg no pressure then huh and Helico doesn't look like he's feeling it right here tonight very, very laid-back individual, but a dynamo when that bell rings and the match gets going. He beat Icarus of Hungary and Flash Morgan Webster of Wales to get to this point. But with no disrespect to either of those two gentlemen, his biggest challenge so far, surely, in this tournament is about to face him because he is about to come face-to-face -face with a king. Round of 16 though, he's up against almost a dark horse in this competition. South Africa's own Angelico. Well, he's laid back, but now it's time to get going against King Ricochet. Don't forget Penta El Zero Miedo already qualifying for the quarterfinals. The winner of this match will face him tomorrow night in Manchester. Oh, that's a daunting prospect right there. Those quarterfinals, by the way, again free on YouTube. Different start time, 9 p.m. UK time tomorrow. That's 4 p.m. Eastern in the United States. If you're watching and supporting Ricochet over there, if he is still in at this point tomorrow, then uh, I'm sure there's going to be lots of fans wanting him. And there's also, by the way, lots of fans in uh, the continent of Africa, and in particular South Africa, who believe that Angelico can pull this off here. Well, it's great for these countries being involved in such a... Uh prestigious to, to, to borrow a phrase from a, a very popular group here in WCPW a prestigious competition like the Pro Wrestling World Cup it's huge for someone like Angelico okay. you think that Ricochet is going to go the whole way he's your pick Dave uh, Bradshaw I've said it I'm not going to 
sit on the fence, which I assume you're going to do. Well, I'm going to support the winner, but, you know, that's a different story. Yeah, it's, hard, it's so hard to pick between all these great athletes. Give me a break here. Yeah, so why stick your neck out, eh? Exactly. And I'm glad you're seeing things my way. These two exchanging hammerlocks into the side headlock now from Angelico. It's not going to take down attempt, but Ricochet lands on his feet. And Ricochet, a real star performer in the world of professional wrestling. And Helico will admire what the King has to offer. Very respectful in the early exchanges here, but <laughs> trust me, I don't think that'll last long. And Ricochet beat his uh, friend and tag team, sometime tag team partner Matt Seidel before having an absolute barn burner against oh. Keith Lee in those USA qualifiers. And you talk about resilience, you talk about the capacity to come back from the dead. King Ricochet showed against Keith Lee just how much heart, just how much spirit he has in him. Well, that was my pick from the, 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 the Pro Wrestling World Cup qualifiers. Ricochet versus Keith Lee. Keith Lee, no disgrace in going out to someone like King Ricochet. But he would have loved to have been here, the big man. And we saw this yesterday on a, a stack. Ricochet taking on Rey Mysterio yesterday. Oh, one yes. Of his, one of his heroes. Mysterio eventually won that match, but... Mysterio got in, getting frustrated at parts of that, of that contest when he couldn't get Ricochet off his feet and Angelico <laughs> is having the same problem. Ricochet, supremely athletic, so agile. Moves like few others in wrestling. And they're a classic example from the King. Nipping up there and Ricochet goes to the ropes again. Rolls off the back of Angelico, ducks the clothesline twice. This time Angelico is going to go low! Oh! by Ricochet, right in the bread basket. Ricochet gearing up for something huge here. And Helico's back in there, and Helico gonna cut him off. No, he's not, because Ricochet saw it coming. They both missed with the knees. And Helico gonna catch him with the Hurricane Rana. Ricochet nips up again. It's back to what you were saying, Bradshaw. So frustrating for Ricochet's opponents to see that athleticism before your very eyes. But then, interestingly, it was a simple drop kick from Angelico that did take Ricochet off his feet. Back El to basics. Element of surprise there from Angelico. And speaking of surprise, oh. look at that. Straight out of South Africa, representing, as you pointed out, the entire continent of Africa, not only the southern part of it. Angelico, no pressure, but he's delivering so far here tonight in Milton Keynes. And Helico, very from South Africa, has mostly made his name over in Mexico. In the world of Lucha Libre, he's a three-time AAA World Tag Team Champion with the American Jack Evans, two-time Lucha Underground Trios Champion. Now, if I'm Angelico, I go straight to work on those legs. You have to find a way to ground King Ricochet to stand a chance. Oh, oh hard into the turnbuckle. Yeah, that was an awkward way in which Ricochet's head kind of snapped into that top turnbuckle. And Helico senses it. Goes for a cover and Ricochet not even allowing his shoulders to stay down for more than a one count. We talk about grounding the man. And Helico nearly said King Ricochet careening out of the ring, but he went hard with his head into that top turnbuckle, still wearing the ill effects of it, King Ricochet. He's back to his feet, but Helico wisely trying to uh, keep the pressure on. And yeah, Ricochet is out of sorts here after that, you know. And Helico has him rattled. I'm very, very impressed by the South African. And Helico, giving no time for recuperation whatsoever, picks him up. The suplex takes him down. Ricochet with the wind knocked out of him. Forced to exert a lot more energy, kicking out of that pin. Well, you said it, Bradshaw. This is the biggest test for Angelico in this competition, the Pro Wrestling World Cup so far. Great wins over Icarus and Flash Morgan Webster, but King Ricochet is on another level from almost everyone in this competition. Hooked his arm over the uh, top rope to prevent Angelico sending him across the ring. To put him away. Well, that uh, might not have been special, but it was certainly it was ugly even. But it was enough to take Ricochet down. And uh, the young man from Kentucky is in uh, a bit of distress, and he has been for the last couple of minutes ever since that head went into the turnbuckle. I would wager that Ricochet spent a little bit too much time on the mat for his liking. So far in this contest. That's a big uppercut though from Ricochet. Oh my! Oh! The throat of Angelico wrenched into the top rope. I don't know about you, but that must be a game changer in my mind. Well, we'll see because Ricochet 
senses he could get the pin. He rolls him back away from the ropes. And Helico had to get that shoulder up rather than just grab the rope. Smarts there from uh, Ricochet to force him to use even more energy. Yeah, he was grabbing at his, uh, and Helico was grabbing at his throat straight away. King Ricochet noticed that and went right back to work on it. There's a snap there, and then into the head scissors. Squeezing those those thighs, those strong thighs of Ricochet, really wrenching and putting the pressure on to the uh, the head of Angelico. Oh, just bashing his face into the canvas. Well, if you're watching this and what a night it's been so far here in this round of 16, we still want to know what you think about who's going to come out on top in this match and all of our remaining matches in this last 16 and who you think is going to have the pick of these quarter-final matches as we are gradually learning who is advancing in the bracket. Share, with, uh, share your thoughts with us on social media using the hashtag Pro Wrestling World Cup. Well, the winner of this one, either Angelico or Ricochet, goes on to the quarter-finals and check this, Penta is waiting, waiting ominously for one of these two men. Yeah, interested to know who Penta would rather face, you know, because he knows Angelico a lot better. Both of them were in AAA at the same time for a long while. That said, he's been in uh, Lucha Underground with Ricochet, so I don't know if he has a preference. Cover and a leg hook, but a two count. Either one's a hard matchup, I would say. Penta against Ricochet, almost a dream match for many people, but as you say, Angelico, no slouch either. Both matches would be tremendous. But there can only be one, Dave Bradshaw. Ricochet and Angelico know that. They can't think about Penta right now. They have to get by one another. And to be honest, I, I doubt Penta is even there. Uh, looking forward to tomorrow at this point he should just be celebrating the fact that he managed to get past bad bones what a match that was take a breath think about it in the morning absolutely count those bruises while you're at it ricochet charge of another uppercut into the chest of angelico and who is uh, going limp here this is trouble for the south african ricochet into the corner pushes and he'll go away. Oh, both men go down. Both men striking each other with the knees. Last gasp effort there from Angelico. The knee. I don't know if it collided with the forehead, the nose, or the jaw. But well, you take your pick your poison there. I tell you what. If this is a double count out, if neither of these men can answer the ten count, then Penta gets the night off tomorrow. He goes to the semis. Wouldn't that be something? A straight up bye for Penta. Well, fortunately. It doesn't look like it's going yeah, to happen. It's hypothetical because both men are moving. We don't want to see uh, anyone reach the semi-finals without having to compete in a quarter-final. And uh, we don't want to see that this match in, end in a double countdown. This has been absolutely absorbing from the opening belt. Well, it's the potential in all these round of 16 matches. So, so threatening, so, so dangerous. It's not only one man could advance, two could go out if there's a double countdown. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Only winners advance and then Helico trying to make sure that he is going to be that winner as he challenges Ricochet to strike it, ducks the punch, and now here come the kicks. Great speed there from Angelico. Angelico so fast. Lightning sometimes. Well, Ricochet put the head down, maybe it's a little too early, goes to the next one with Angelico, and in the end, it's the roundhouse kick around the head of Ricochet. The length of Angelico's legs came into play for the cover and a two count. And that may be the advantage that Angelico has over King Ricochet. Look at the length of the limbs on this South African. There's no other man with his body shape in the Pro Wrestling World Cup. That's He's great, truly unique. That, that's a great point. And if he can use that to his advantage, as he has been here, then that could take him a long way. Now, maybe he's going to go for that fall of the angels, the crucifix turnbuckle bomb. This is how he advanced through those rest of the world qualifiers. Ricochet knows that this is trouble for him. He's just able to escape. Oh. Ricochet, 619, oh. borrowed from the man who beat him yesterday. Springboard from Ricochet. No one there. And a kick into the midsection. Saves Angelico's match. And Angelico not wasting any time. Oh, Angelico with the double foot stomp into the back. Wow, Angelico, cover. Leg hooked to advance. Ricochet gets the right shoulder up. If you notice there, Angelico only able to 
to hook Ricochet's leg on the count of two. Had he done it on one, things could have been different. Angelico could have advanced to the quarterfinals. Also, yeah, he didn't get as much body weight as he might have liked. Angelico is still uh, exhausted. But if nothing else, that double foot stomp has bought him some time and has given him the uh, upper hand back. They've got to make the most of it. He's going to go for the fall of the Angels again. Ricochet, counter. Oh, another big knee. And Helico goes seen down. Some teeth flying tonight, Bradshaw. Oh, it has been absolutely smash mouth, as they say in the US. These two, look at them. Just exhausted in their corners. They're like two boxers who need the end of a round, but both of them going to continue as they know how. Look at this from Ricochet. Unbelievable. The running shooting star. Surely this is it, isn't it? Isn't it? No. Well, 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 Ricochet thought it was all over with. He's disconsolate. Look at his expression. If there's anyone who knows how to hang in there, it's Ricochet. We saw that against Keith Lee. He's not going to be disheartened. He's going to go straight back to the task at hand. Picks gonna... Angelico back up off the canvas. Yeah, he's looking for the Benadrilla. Instead of an elbow to the side of the head. That's a clothesline. No, and Helico landed on his feet. Oh. Double foot stomp again from Angelico. But he can't capitalise, and that's very, very crucial. If he could even drape a leg over King Ricochet's well, he does body. Now. He does now. He drapes an arm. It was too little, too late, though. If he had just put a leg down, that may have counted as a cover. But that's easy to say that sitting here, but I'm not, sure. true. I'm not sure there was enough energy left in the body of Angelico to even do that. And can you blame him after what these two have been through here? Well, you and I haven't been through what Angelico and King Ricochet have been through. You're absolutely spot on in that one. Yeah, I, think, I think I'd be headed to an early grave if I went through what these two have been through here. Oh, we can, but hope. Well, that was charming. Angelico going for the fall of the Angels. Again, again, Ricochet knows he has to get out, so he holds on to that turnbuckle, wraps his legs around the ropes. But now Angelico... Wouldn't be the late, great Dave Bradshaw, I'll tell you that for nothing. Going for maybe a belly-to-back suplex is Angelico. This is ominous, dangerous for both these men. Whoever hits hard here may win. Well, you don't want to be on the canvas if Ricochet is uh, headed to the top. And Angelico knows he's got to take evasive action, and that's what he does. But look at Ricochet, even though he was knocked off that lofty perch, he had the presence of mind to grab those ropes because had he fallen to the ice of this arena in Milton Keynes, he may have been knocked out cold. The crowd here clapping along. Respect for both of these guys. In oh, God. And Helico again gets pulled into the ropes. We are seeing exactly what the Pro Wrestling World Cup means to the great nations of America and South Africa right here tonight. He's going and to Helico and Ricochet yeah. leaving it all in the ring. He's looking for a neck breaker. He's looking for a neck breaker is Ricochet and Helico elbows his way free. Still on the apron, both of them as there's a chop. And Helico is gonna give him a receipt. Big boot. These two are just uh, right to the top of the head almost. Down uh, onto the chest. It's like they're challenging each other. How much have you got left? Can you keep up with me? If I strike you, can you strike me? I'd be telling referee Joel Allen. Oh, there is the neck breaker right on the ring apron. And that's all it can take. One moment can swing the momentum one way. And it looks like it's firmly in the court of Ricochet. Although Ricochet, much like Angelico, they're in identical positions here. Neither man is moving after that. I can't blame them for that. That neck breaker. And as, as much as obviously most of the impact lands on Angelico, Ricochet had to land hard on the apron as well to deliver that move. 100%. He also had to soak up some of that impact. Here he comes. Oh my! Springboard 450! That's incredible. From Ricochet. And is that all? Again. Again, Angelico kicks out. This Almost is a, a mini temper tantrum there from Ricochet, kicking his legs and arms, pounding them on the canvas, frustrated that wasn't the end. But this, as you'd imagine, the uh, great and good of the wrestling world are watching this pro wrestling world cup with great interest. And Helico's stock, I think, has risen even further than it was before. He's doing so again here as he continues to refuse to die here against Ricochet. It was always going to be a proving ground, this pro wrestling world cup, for guys like Angelico. 
And Helico rolls through victory roll. He's got both legs. The shoulders are down. And Ricochet just got out. Scissors kick. And a roundhouse oh. from Ricochet. Gonna go for the Benadrilla. Will he get it? No, he won't! Well, he did, he kind of did, but Angelico countered as well, and not for the first time. Both men are down in the middle of the ring. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Both these men, Angelico, coming into his own here against King Ricochet. Deja vu here. Both men down. The referee has a decision to make here. What a great spectacle here in Milton Keynes. This round of 16, and... This match has been right up there with the best of them. We are not done yet here either between Angelico and Ricochet. And there is not a pair of eyes in this building that are not focused on the wrestling ring right now. Everyone sucked into this tremendous action between King Ricochet and Angelico. He's going for it again, Dave yes, Bradshaw. Yes, is. This third time he's tried for the fall of the Angels. Ricochet escaped in both of the first two attempts. Will he do so this time? Maybe not because Angelico has got him up there. Ricochet rolls through, shoulders down from Angelico. Another two count. Angelico going to try and catch him, and he does. That could be all she wrote. This time he does manage to land on top of him. Oh, again. Wow. Far from emphatic, but the shoulder does go up. Ricochet survives. What is it going to take to put away one of these two men? Both men down again. crowd in Milton Keynes are right on the money. This is awesome. Ricochet still down. Angelico is up to one knee. What a match we are seeing here. Angelico showing exactly what he's made of. South Africa must be so, so proud of this man. Angelico, again a fourth attempt. He knows exactly what he needs to do. Ricochet in the crucifix position. Nowhere to go. Ricochet headed for the fall of the Angels. He got countered. Oh. And Helico stumbles on the middle turnbuckle. Reverse oh. Rana. And Helico lands hard on his shoulder in the back of his head. Ricochet building round and round. What's this now? Ricochet twisting. Leon, what's he trying to achieve here against Angelico? Maybe trying to hyperextend the oh, elbow. He's, he's got it as well. Oh, he's got that submission. It's a submission hold. A submission hold. And Helico tries to get to the ropes. And yeah, he brings it. Yeah, oh, is it? That's it. Well, Ricochet calls that the the Sol Naciente, the Rising Ladies Sun. Ricochet will advance and he is going to face, as we said earlier, Penta El Zero Miedo tomorrow night, the quarterfinals in Manchester. What a match, what a war between the United States Ricochet and South Africa's Angelico. What does Ricochet have left though? Penta may pick clean the bones of King Ricochet. But he's back on his feet, Dave Bradshaw. He's an absolute warrior, is the king. Ricochet gets a well-deserved standing ovation. Nothing to be ashamed of for Angelico, though. He left it all in the ring tonight. Oh, absolutely. Angelico has done himself proud. He has done his country and his continent proud throughout this Pro Wrestling World Cup. But for now, in the year 2017, in this tournament, that is the end of the road for Angelico as Ricochet advances. Oh, Angelico pushing Ricochet in the chest there. So he's clearly uh, disappointed, as you would expect. Angelico is not a bad guy, I'll tell you that, but he is uh, obviously disheartened, having put in a superhuman effort here. Ricochet will understand that, no doubt about that. Everyone wants to win, no one wants to lose the full wrestling world cup. And there we see it, the great show of respect between those two great athletes. Ricochet goes to Manchester to face Penta El Zero Miedo.